everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. Are you using a narrow band type filter with your one shot color camera? And you want to get more natural looking RGB stars in your image without having to re image without a filter or a completely different filter? Then stay tuned because today we're going to be using one of SETI Astro's amazing scripts to do just that. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Now let's jump on in and learn how to use SETI Astro's narrow band to RGB star combination script. Frank at SETI Astro has made it extremely easy to get natural looking RGB stars if you utilize a narrow band type filter with your one shot color camera. And I'm going to show you how to use his narrow band to RGB star combination script. And I'm going to show you how to use it with a few different processing styles including if you like to separate everything and process individually, or if you like to keep everything together and process together, including stretching, or if you like to remove your stars from your image and process individually. Now it's important to understand that everything up here has already been through the correction phase of processing. They've already been cropped, the initial star correction done using correct only in blur exterminator, background extracted, the full blur exterminator run, noise exterminator, and with some of them, the stars have been removed. In other words, everything is ready to be stretched. We'll go ahead and start with if you like to separate everything and process individually. Here we have the stars image for red green and blue. The first thing that we need to do is combine these three images. So we'll go to process all processes and we'll come down to channel combination. What we need to do is assign each of the star images to the appropriate section. In other words, for red, we'll assign red stars. For green, we'll assign green stars. And for blue, we'll assign blue stars. We'll go ahead and hit the circle. Now it's important to understand, do not stretch. If you stretch, you'll get a weird result like this. I'm going to exit out and redo it. So I'm just going to hit the circle. We're going to leave this image unstretched. Let's exit out of channel combination and minimize our star images. We'll go to script, SETI Astro, and come down to narrow band to RGB star combination. First, let's go ahead and name this image. Let's name it separated, just so we can find it easily. We'll go to script, SETI Astro, narrow band to RGB star combination. And for one shot color, we're going to choose our image separated. Now, since this image is not stretched and we want a stretched image, we'll apply a star stretch. Now, you can always go and show preview. And this will allow you to play with these uh, different sliders here and see what they do. I find that the default settings do a very good job. So I'm just going to go ahead and execute. But if you wish, you could play with the sliders and refresh the preview to see what they do. So here's our separated stars narrow band to RGB image. We'll go ahead and minimize these for a moment. Now let's go on to the image that has the stars removed but all channels combined. Now, this is gonna work very similar. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to script, SETI Astro, and then we'll still go to narrow band to RGB star combination. I wanna go ahead and name this um, stars out so we can identify that one as well. So script, SETI Astro, narrow band to RGB star combination. 
Again, we'll go to one shot color and we'll pick our stars out image. We'll apply a star stretch and execute. Let's go ahead and name this one stars out underscore narrow band to RGB. This way we know which ones these go to. Now on here, if you like to uh, process everything together, including stretching, now as you can see, this image has not been stretched yet. So what we're gonna do is go to script, SETI Astro, and we're gonna come down to statistical stretch. I'm just gonna apply a stretch to it. And here the image has been stretched and we can tell because we can no longer get rid of the stretch. What we're gonna to wanna to do here is process all processes and we want to remove the stars. We'll minimize our primary image. Let's name this one combo. Now we'll go to script, SETI Astro, narrow band to RGB star combination. For one shot color, we're gonna go ahead and choose combo. Now since the stars have already been stretched, we're not gonna apply a, a star stretch. We'll just go ahead and execute. And now we'll name this combo underscore narrow band RGB stars. And that's how you use SETI Astro's narrow band to RGB star combination script with a few different styles of processing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did and want to help support the channel, check out that join button and consider becoming a Hidden Light Photography member. There's lots of perks in it for you, and your support really helps me create more content. Also, do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you prefer the narrowband look or RGB look for stars? Did you learn anything new? And then, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.